Hades Omega here. I'm doing a little uh, equipment review. Uh, so, uh, uh, today I'm going to do a review on the Michelin T63s. Uh, I have a Michelin T63 front and rear. And uh, uh, this is like pretty much my second set. And uh, I want to give my, uh, my thoughts on it. Um, so I'm running a Michelin T63. These are tube tires. Uh, it's a 130, 80, 17 in the back. And I'm running a, oh, what is it? It's a 21 in the front. I know that. It's like a, it's like a 90, 90, 21 or something. But, uh, so these tires have had, all right. So, uh, I just spooned these, uh, these rear ones on about 2000 miles ago give or take a couple miles and um, and the front I believe I've had this on since Baja it has this front has about um, 4,000 probably more than 4,000 miles on it and you can tell they're done uh, they're done and um, this last time I rode with them, they were really slippery. They weren't gripping too good off-road. But, uh, yeah, so. So here's my takes on them. Um, these are, uh, they're great on-road and off-road. They, they perform well on and off-road. Um, it's a, supposed to be a desert tire, so they're real good in the sand. They hook up really good. I remember when I was in Baja and riding in the deep sand, I was having a lot of trouble wrestling the bike and everything, but the tires they were they were just clawing at the at the sand and um yeah you could really feel that feel it hook up when you chop that throttle. So um these are good uh sand tires. Um I've had a I've had a Shinko seven hundred and a T sixty three combination before. I'm not doing a Shinko seven hundred review though, but I've had that combination. Um I really like the front tire. Front tire is good. Um, when, when the front, uh, I'd, I'd like to say when when the front gets below 50% though, it doesn't grip as good anymore. And you notice um, this last trip I did with them, uh, they were probably less than 50 when I had them. Uh, when I when I started going off road and and they were slippery. I mean, the terrain I was riding on, it was real slippery and loose. But um, I was running them about 22 psi, and um, they were uh, they were they were very slippery. The front would wash out a lot, and it was kind of scary. <laughs> but that's kind of my fault. I probably should have replaced them before the trip. They weren't at their optimum, uh, you know, grip. But uh, yeah, on road. They do great the whole time on road. Um, it, whether they're wearing, they're, like they're, you got a full knobs or you know where they are right now. Uh, I think this is about lower than I had last time. I've had a couple. I think if this is my second T63 front, um, you can barely get two rear tire changes out of this. I'm surprised how fast this one wore. This one wore, but um, I'm not gonna lie. I I put these tires to through hell, you know, and. I rode this one on the Rubicon, and you can see where all the rocks have been rubbing on the tire here. Never, never cut or chunk, no chunks at all. Excellent. I mean, you can tell, I and mean, they're starting to kind of crack at the base of the at the knobs. But I've never had like a really bad like it like actually chunk and through a knob. So uh, for the front, very good, very durable. Um, T63s will run you for for front and rear. They're about the same price. I don't know why. I would think the front should be a little cheaper, but um, uh, they, these cost me about seventy bucks. They seem to be going up in price every year too. Uh, but seventy dollars, it's still a bargain. Uh, let me talk about the rear now. The rear, excellent traction, excellent traction on all terrain. Um, these. Have had uh, these are about 2,000 miles and look at them. Um, okay, I'm gonna say I, I didn't baby them. I rode the crap out of these tires and um, they're pretty much done. That's probably 25%, probably less than 25%. And 
And these ones look a little more beat up than the last ones I had. I, I probably rode them much harder. But I, I spooned these in before the trip and man, it just ate through these really bad. Um, not a very long lasting tire. This is barely 2,000 miles. And it, it's pretty much ready to be replaced already. Um, no, no chunks. My, my DR isn't the powerhouse motorcycle that all the other bikes are, but uh, but like uh, it, it didn't chunk any of the, the tires. Look, I wore it pretty good too. Look at that. Well, all, pretty much uh, all the way to the edge. So you can tell. Um, I, I, this there's no chicken strips on this tire, <laughs> and you can see. I've hit a lot of rocks, sort of. The front, I was doing more of the, the rock deflecting, but the back had a good share too. Um, I have had one puncture on a T63. It was on during the sheet iron, but uh, that was uh, that was the previous tire. So, um, uh, like I said, I'm not, I'm not reviewing the Shinko 700s. I had Shinko 700 rear before this, and I really like those, but... Uh, um, and they lasted a really long time. These ones, not so much. Um, yeah, I'm amazed at how, how fast I wore through this one. Um, I was running at this about, I run anywhere from 25 to 18 PSI. I'm real conservative with my tire pressures. And, um, yeah, it's like, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a super aggressive rider. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't, I don't baby it either. And um, so there you go, Michelin T63, it's a good tire, on and off road, I highly recommend it, um, yeah, when they get past that 50% mark, 50% life, like half the knobs, um, they, um, they don't grip so good anymore. Um, I haven't had any problems with them on, in the rainy weather, uh, mud, they do okay in mud. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's it depending on how how much life is left in them. Like they'll last you a good 2,000 miles. After that, you probably want to change them. Um, they're cheap tires. They don't they don't last very long, unfortunately. Uh, I, I might try to try to go to for a different tire next time. But um, it's it's a good tire for on and off road. And um, yeah, great cornering on and off road. Hades Omega out.